Hi, this is Atmir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Monday, the 18th of March. Starting off with the FTSE 100, which is still uh, recoiling from that 7800 area. The support there at the uh, top of that triangle, 7700. Above that, still looking for 7850 plus by the end of this month, on the basis that the 50 and 200 day lines are both rising and the RSI at 57 is right in the uh, zone for further movement to the upside. We've already had three bounces off neutral 50 RSI, which tends to be a leading indicator as well. So uh, if the FTSE fails at this point, it would be very disappointing, but uh, that is what this market is good at, I suppose. Below 7,700, uh, the 50 day line, 7,627, currently the notional support, not expecting anything worse than that. Moving on to the DAX, uh, which is not as uh, feeble as the FTSE. Uh, here you can see that we've uh, not only hit that line there, that September resistance line, projection line at 17,900. We're now finding support above it. Above it, we're looking for the top of that October rising trend channel as high as 18,500, hopefully by the end of next month or even sooner. This market tends to surprise in terms of positive uh, aspects in terms of the timeline. So that is looking good. Uh, in terms of the downside now, not expecting anything worse than the... Uh, current March support at 17,600. We could obviously head back down to the floor of that channel 17,400 but uh, at this stage this market looks strong enough. The uh, Dow is next and uh, here you can see that uh, it's all about trying to find support uh, at the floor of that rising trend channel from back in October and uh, that's currently around where the market settled on uh, Friday 38,700. We've got the 50 day line below it 38,300 and then uh, February support 38,000 but ideally we managed to rebound and have a fresh leg to the upside above the 50 day line. We do break uh, higher than the uh, breakthrough 39,200 could take us up to 40,200 over the next two to four weeks but obviously at this stage still trying to find our feet um, near the 39,000 area. Next market is uh, Bitcoin, which had a bit of a rug pull at the end of last week. Uh, not surprising, I suppose, but uh, we have really established the floor of that rising January trend channel there. 65,000, let's call it, at the moment. And above that, looking for this market to then have a fresh leg to the upside as high as 82,000 by the end of next month. Obviously, the halving will be part of that process. Uh, it will actually happen during that time. But uh, ideally, we stay above 65,000 and uh, head to 80,000 plus. If we do break back below 65,000, the next level really 60,000, which was the initial March support. Moving on to gold, and uh, here you can see that uh, we've got uh, still got this market finding a new support above old resistance, that old December resistance uh, uh, level around 2150, and above that looking for 2200, hopefully over the next couple of weeks, and then uh, by the end of next month, as high as 2260, which is that July resistance line projection from last year but uh, obviously as we are at the top of that rising March 2023 price channel uh, it's going to be tough to break higher in a big way very soon. Moving on to the stocks and starting off with the AFC Energy which uh, has managed to make good progress above a rising 50-day moving average left a gap there was unfilled gap to the upside through the 50-day line that means we are optimistic of a, a target at 24 pence hopefully over the next couple of weeks or sooner and then ultimately maybe by the end of next month as high as 31 pence at that March 2023 resistance line projection. Upside valid well we're especially while we're on the right side of 20p but uh, certainly while we're above the rising 50 day line 17.6 pence. Moving on to one of the uh, perhaps surprise rises of recent days and that's been uh, capex. Uh, here we went right down to the uh, lows that they're at uh, uh, 0.07 pence, we're already uh, four times above that price, which I suppose is a result. Looking to fill the gap there and old February support there at 0.39. Uh, above that, then it could be the 50-day line at 0.62, although obviously that would be quite a uh, journey. Uh, in the meantime, support basically today's low around uh, the 0.21 level, difficult to tighten it up more than that. But we do have bullish divergence and uptrend line there from back in uh, the uh, beginning of November, that should hopefully get us at least up to filling the gap at 0.39, which again would be quite a result. 
uh, stock that perhaps uh, not that many people look at but looks uh, as though it could be in for recovery is uh, C4X and the reason for that is that we gapped up back at the uh, beginning of the year and we basically uh, haven't uh, been able to fill that gap we basically found support just below the top of the gap there around the 11 pence zone or about 10 and three quarters in fact rising trend channel there from back in October top of the channel there as high as 22 pence and we're gunning for that now by the end of next month while we remain above 12 pence so a re reasonably good risk reward setup seems to be on tap there on to uh, DJ DG innovate which uh, had the uh, tesla factor helping it uh, still trying to work out wh where the uh, what the trajectory of the rising trend channel is obviously the previous line there a bit too steep but it still looks as though we're in a rising trend channel from back in november and a break of point two could take us up towards the top of the channel there at point three pence plus maybe as soon as the end of next month but if you're cautious probably wait for an end of day close through the initial march resistance at point two zero six uh, to be sure that uh, we are on our way on to uh, empire metals and here a uh, recovery within a broadening triangle there which is uh, quite a sort of it's a bear trap type of uh, maneuver there looking for an end of day close through the 50 day moving average around 10.1 pence to give us a move up to 14 pence hopefully well before the end of next month the RSI sign that pushed through the neutral 50 level for the first time properly since the uh, middle of January so that may be significant next up is uh, Farron and uh, here good move of this this uh, situation maybe not so good on the downside if you're long but uh, we've had a, a W shape reversal there through one at one pound 64 we've gapped through that as well so it's uh, uh, a sort of a bear trap uh, situation as well but 164 looking for I suppose up to uh, the uh, two pound area which is sort of splitting the difference between where we are now and the 50-day line ideally obviously we head up to the 50-day line maybe by the end of next month but the key here is holding one pound 64 which hopefully the shares can do one of the big wins here of late has been gcm resources and it looks as though it's trying to uh, revive itself uh, we've had uh, good support there around six and three quarter pence above that looking for a retest quite simply of the march peak at uh, around 12.6 pence hopefully that can materialize by the end of next month a stock which has uh, certainly been slapped down over the recent past is graph polymer and uh, the rsi heading down towards uh, what's that sort of the uh, basically the one or two out of a hundred level which it has done before it hasn't really bounced before but maybe on this occasion with that uh, hammer candle that we had on friday a break of the friday high at 0.28 could take the shares up to filling the gap towards the 0.5 pence level and that resistance line there from last July but obviously that's still a bit of a falling knife situation ideally we stay on the right side of point two if there is any recovery on that moving on to uh, plexus holdings and uh, here you can see that we've got a bit of consolidation above a rising 50-day line we've already got the uh, the 200-day line rising which is nice so uh, that suggests that we are ready for a turnaround a break of 20 pence could take us up to the top of the uh, rising trend channel there from the summer of last year as high as 35 pence perhaps as soon as the end of next month punchy call but uh, no point uh, being uh, being uh, sort of uh, cautious about these things given it is a small cap situation moving on to uh, powerhouse energy and here uh, the shares gapping up after their consolidation around uh, the old august resistance there that was around uh, 0 0.81 0 0.82 in fact to be precise but 0.82 we're looking for the shares to head up to 1.35 pence at that uh, resistance line projection from this time last year hoping for that by the end of next month i uh, the, another the other point to note is that we also had a golden cross buy signal between the 50 and 200 day lines that uh, tends to be a lagging indicator but uh, in this case uh, it could be something which maintains the rally that we've already seen uh, stock which is uh, certainly not for widows and orphans is next uh, but worth uh, a sort of charting interest i suppose uh, here we've got regtech and the reason for looking at it apart from uh, uh, those who like high octane situations is that we gapped down back in uh, february twice uh, but we've actually gapped up uh, for the end of uh, the latter part of March was where we are now key reversal to the upside so it could be the case that the shares at least try and fill the gap up to five pence or maybe head up to the 50-day line at six pence but obviously 
this is a, a rather uh, uh, difficult and dangerous situation. On to the last two. First one is Savannah, and uh, here you can see that uh, we've hit our first target there around uh, 2.7 pence above that, looking for the top of the uh, wider triangle there from back in September, as high as 3.8 pence by the end of next month. The upside value while we're above uh, the late November support, late November resistance rather there at around 2.5 pence, so above 2.5, looking for 3.8 on Savannah. Finishing off with Tomco, which uh, is always a highly traded situation here. Uh, potential bounce off this falling trend channel that's been in place since November. Uh, if we can break through the recent resistance at uh, 0 0.05 on an end of day close basis, then we could be heading up to uh, 0 0.08 by the end of next month or even sooner. Obviously, there's a gap to fill there at 0 0.06. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.